Hola, hola, mis amigos. I'm going to read you a story called Crazy Hair Day, and it's about a boy named Stanley uh, who has a crazy, wacky hairdo. So let's see how he got that hairdo. Crazy Hair Day. Stanley Birdbaum woke up early. Bald Eagle Elementary School was celebrating Crazy Hair Day, and Stanley couldn't wait. They had celebrated Pajama Day and Twin Day and Sixties Day, and Stanley's favorite was Twin Day because he and his best friend Larry Finchfeather had worn exactly the same thing. And there's a picture from Twin Day wearing the same outfit. Stanley was ready. He had rubber bands, he had styling gel, and to make his hair perfect, Stanley had two cans of Halloween hairspray. Stanley's mother knew just what to do. She wrapped, she dipped, and to make his hair perfect, she sprayed Stanley's hair bright orange and blue. Man, Stanley's mom is smart. Uh, orange and blue are complementary colors on the color wheel. Ta-da, said Stanley. I am a work of art. You're going to be late if you don't hurry, said his mother. So there's his crazy hairdo, blue and orange and standing straight up. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. I bet Larry Finchfeather and I will have the craziest hair in the whole school, Stanley thought. As he walked toward the classroom, he heard his teacher talking. And remember, Mr. Winger said, crazy hair day is... Next Friday, uh-oh, everybody stopped. Everybody stared. Stanley felt sick to his stomach. Larry Finchfeather said, is that a hairdo or a hair don't? Everybody laughed. Stanley ran to the bathroom, embarrassed. Now, that wasn't a very kind thing to say either for his friend Larry. Hmm. A few minutes later, Stanley heard someone come in. It's me, Larry Finchfeather. The Larry Finchfeather who just made fun of me in front of the whole class, asked Stanley. I was only teasing, said Larry. Some days you tease me too much, said Stanley. Mr. Winger said he wants me to try to be a peacemaker instead of a troublemaker, said Larry. I'm supposed to bring you back to class. Well, I'm not going, said Stanley. Hmm, Mr. Winger's right. You want to be kind and respectful to everyone and be a good soaring friend. Hey, if you stay in here, you'll miss it. being in the class picture, said Larry. I thought that was next Friday, said Stanley. Crazy hair days next Friday, Larry said, but today is school picture day. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. So he's got his wacky hairdo, but it's picture day. Larry Finchfeather suggested that Stanley try washing his hair in the sink. It won't help, said Stanley. Halloween hair color lasts four days. Well, it really doesn't matter. It's only your hair, Larry told him. If you don't come out of here by the time math is over, I'm coming to get you. You can't stay here all day. It was very quiet after Larry Finchfeather left, and Stanley wondered if maybe he could spend all day in the bathroom. He ate his lunch. He drew pictures. He even timed himself to see how fast he could flush all the toilets in there. Thirty-two and a half seconds, he shouted. A new world record by me, Stanley Birdbaum. Stanley had counted up to 121, 122, 123 drops of water from a leaky faucet when Larry Finchfeather came back. Beep, time's up. Let's go, Larry announced. Picture time. If I'm in it, I'll look like a weirdo, said Stanley. Remember 60's day when Mr. Winger had the flu but came in anyway, said Larry? He said the day wouldn't be the same if we weren't all together. You have to come. I'll give you five more minutes. Do you think he'll keep his hair due? Larry Finchfeather left, and Stanley Birdbaum thought about 60's day when Mr. Winger had taught them all those great old songs. He remembered how on pajama day everyone in his class wore PJs and slippers. And then Stanley imagined what his class picture would look like without him. An empty spot. He decided to go back to class. To keep from being nervous, Stanley made up a song. Crazy hair, crazy hair, how I wish it wasn't there. 
Stanley felt someone touch his shoulder. I was just coming to get you, said Larry Finchfeather. What if they laugh at me again? Asked Stanley. Everything's going to be fine, Larry whispered. I promise. Stanley stood in front of the class. Everybody stopped. Everybody stared. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of the spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I never forget. So everybody uh, participated. So while Stanley was in the bathroom, they made their hair look a little crazy too. So they added things like books and a fishbowl and paper strips and, oh my goodness, a trash can and a globe and a ukulele. Mrs. Reese would love that. So you... Uh, can see here that everyone wanted Stanley to feel included so they gave themselves a wacky hairdo and then when he went to bed that night he still had his colorful hair rubber bands and spikes and hey he has ukuleles on his bedspread so he's a musical and artistic genius so with crazy hair day you get to design your own crazy wacky hairdo uh, so, I'm going to use this whiteboard here, but you can use whatever materials you have. You can even make it a sculpture, or a drawing, or a painting, uh, whatever you want. So, you could draw maybe yourself uh, with crazy hair. So, think of like an oval as your head, and you could get your eyes and nose in there. And maybe you're looking up at your hair, and you're surprised at what you see. And you could include crazy things like uh, maybe that ukulele, uh, like in the story, is on your head. Or maybe you have that trash can on your head. Or maybe you have colorful spikes like Stanley did with rubber bands. Or maybe you have big bows. Or maybe you have twirly confetti. That is pretty wild. And instead of drawing yourself, maybe you want to draw a character with different hair. So it could be an animal too. Maybe your pet cat is going to have a crazy hair day. And maybe uh, there's flowers coming out of your cat's hair. That'd be kind of crazy. So you get to be creative, you get to think about what would make crazy hair on you, or someone you know, or an animal, or a character, maybe in a book, or a TV show, and what would make the craziest hairdo of all? Maybe on top of those flowers there's a cake. A cake on your head would be pretty crazy too. So, you can come up with uh, as many crazy hairdos as you want and I would love to see what you do come up with so maybe you even want to style your own hair kind of like Stanley did and make it a little crazy and take a photo of your actual hair that you make a little wild and wacky so I can't wait to see what you come up with and feel free to share when you're done adios amigos